force of Mother Nature can be abrupt and monumental. Terrified tourists capture the moment that a catastrophic 7.8 earthquake hits Bhaktapur, Nepal in April 2015. Centuries-old Hindu temples crumble from the violent shaking. There's no safe place to go, and these things start collapsing around you. When the earth moves this much, it almost acts like a liquid instead of like a solid, and most of the buildings just can't handle that type of motion. Eight miles west in Kathmandu, the quake rocks the ground at this busy roundabout. You can see everybody's trying to scramble and get in the middle of the road. They're trying to get away from the buildings because in this particular circumstance, you don't have very sturdy buildings, and a lot of those are going to be coming down very hard and very fast. People are also kind of being pushed around by truly waves kind of rippling through the blacktop there. A monument collapses into the road, narrowly missing cars. After 50 seconds, the earthquake is finally over. When we talk in seconds, it sounds short, right? But if you actually sit there and count one, two, three, up to 50 seconds, and imagine the earth shaking for that long, that's horrifying. That's a very long time for you to not have any stability beneath you. You think that you're on solid ground, and it just reminds you that everything that you're standing on it's all rotating around the Earth on these real thin layers. You have the Indian plate moving northbound and crashing into Asia. That first plate slips dramatically and plunges several inches to several feet, and that movement jolts everything around. This drop is what uh, creates some of the world's largest earthquakes. The destruction in the region is staggering. More than 8,000 people are killed. And tens of thousands more are injured. Homes and priceless historical buildings are leveled. This is catastrophic. When this is your hometown and your house and your temple and your monuments, it's heartbreaking to see something like this happen. It takes a long time to repair the infrastructure after an event like this.